Here's your WNEM TV5 news update. Good evening, everyone. I'm Meg McLeod. Here's a quick look at some of our stories tonight. A nasty boat crash prompted a water rescue on Higgins Lake. The Roscommon County Sheriff's Office says two people were thrown from a boat yesterday and they were in the water without life jackets, believed to have broken bones. The Sheriff's Office says it appears the boat lost control, turning abruptly sideways and ejecting the occupants. Both of the occupants survived, but the boat, as you can see, has significant damage. SBSU is preparing to host its annual 9-11 Heroes Run. The event, now in its 11th year, is Sunday outside the Ryder Center with check-in starting at 8.30, followed by a remembrance ceremony. The 5K run and walk begins at 10 and will lead people through the campus. You can register in the hot link section or on Sunday before the race. The cost starts at $33 and proceeds benefit the Travis Mannion Foundation and the Saginaw County Veterans Memorial Plaza. For more information or to find a local memorial service near you, visit our hot link section on WNEM.com. An opportunity for you to be part of Michigan's biggest indoor water park. The Bavarian Blast Water Park and Family Fun Center in Frankenmuth is holding a hiring open house. On Wednesday night from 6 to 8, you can meet with staff at the Bavarian Inn's Rat Skeller Cafe to learn about the open positions, including lifeguards. There will also be a chance to win prizes. Bavarian Blast is scheduled to open this fall. The $80 million water park includes 16 water slides, a wave pool, a swim-up bar, and more. And now here's Chris with your first alert forecast. Meg, wildfire smoke is going to be a part of our forecast the next couple of days. We expect it to be a little bit thicker than what we've seen today and even this evening. It looks like it also sticks around through Thursday. So our skies the next couple of days could be pretty hazy and that could impact our high temperature potential. Lows tonight expected to be in the 50s and then tomorrow be right around the mid 80s as we go into Thursday. Our forecast earlier this week was calling for upper 80s, but we've ticked that back a little bit because of the expected smoke for the next couple of days. Now visibility tomorrow morning still have a few trouble spots here and there, but we're not expecting fog to be quite as widespread as it was early this morning. Your first alert pinpoint Doppler radar shows also a few showers to our west. We expect those to fall apart and not have an impact on us here. Now, as far as the tropics go, tropical storm Francine is still going to move in our direction over the next couple of days after it makes landfall as a hurricane. What looks like Louisiana now and potentially even having an impact in Mississippi. But as it moves off to the north, it does look like it slows down a bit in the Ohio Valley, which keeps it away from us as we start the weekend on Saturday and it looks Looks like there's a good chance that it will avoid us on Sunday. Also, your forecast for the next seven days shows temperatures will cool off as we head towards the weekend. We will get some spillover clouds from that system, even if it doesn't rain. But we stay in the 80s as we go into early next week. Remember to tune into WNEM TV 5 on air and online 24 7 for the latest news, weather and information.